They're in the gate. Away and running at the fairgrounds. And Sly broke sharp. Hoodwink up there on the far outside. Valerie Valeski is put in the game early. And here's Total Malice who drives through to engage Valerie Valeski, who leads them after one furlong. With 0.0, .0 right there vying for second with Total Malice as Valerie Valeski leads to a half mile from home. Sharp starting slide is joined out wide by Hoodwink in the black and yellow blocks and beaten for pace. Sister Chloe trails the Philly sextet here in the Thursday opener. The quarter for Valerie Valeski in 22.17 seconds with Santo Sanjor. Valerie Valeski sets sail for the final three furlongs, leads 0.0, .0 who still battles total malice toward the inside. With slide five lengths off this leader, Valerie Valeski spins them in at the quarter pole. We trail back to Hoodwink, who's raced wide, and Sister Chloe has trailed. The half mile in 46.15 seconds. Valerie Valeski, push coming to shove, but still holding on to a slight lead from Total Malice, who attacks up the rail now for James Graham to gain the advantage past the 16th. It's Total Malice, as Valerie Valeski is left to fight it out with 0.0, .0 for second. Total Malice on top. 0, 0.0 gain second from Valerie Vlesky, a gap away. Sister Chloe, finish fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Now there's I Tell You the Facts who strikes out along with Northern Reflection in the white cap. Bosti Blue is third upon settling as they enter the clubhouse turn. I Tell You the Facts has taken the lead for Relu Gutierrez. Seven for longs to run from Northern Reflection. With bouldering through into third here in the early stages, Bosti Blue running in fourth. Then toward the inside is Guitar Tuition Please in fifth. I Like Dreaming is three wide in sixth. And uh, Mo Credo took an awkward step there and his uh, drop back. Mo Credo passed up the near side by Chief Kimosabi at the five and a half as Mo Credo looks to uh, get back on track after some uh, first turn uh, S uh, ventures there running in the back half of the field. As we come back to I Know I Didn't Do That, who's running in ninth position and the trailer in 10th is Flashback Wind. When it was 23.94 seconds, they go past the half mile pole. It's still I Tell You the Facts, the front runner. Half mile 47.89 seconds. I tell you the fact says Bouldering looms on the outside. Three furlongs to go. Northern Reflection running in third from Bosti Blue driven in fourth. Mo Credo looks to gain on the outside. As they come toward the quarter pole, Chief Kimasabi the rail, guitar tuition please. We trail back then to I Like Dreaming, I Know I Didn't Do That. Flashback Wind is last. They straighten up past the quarter pole, three quarters, 113.12 seconds. Bouldering tries to reel in. I tell you the facts, one for long to go. I tell you the facts, roused by Relu. I tell you the facts, holds bouldering as they come inside this final 16th. Northern Reflection in a grinding run. Chief Kimasabi shoulder to shoulder with guitar tuition, please. In the meantime, I tell you the facts, seizes the day. Wins by five from Chief Kimosabi, who gains second on the line with bouldering and guitar tuition, please. Ready. They're off. Even start. Toward the inside, too much bourbon. Senior Clarkie has good speed along with interactive moment. Fire Blaster, part of an early battle now as they go up the back. It's interactive moment and Fire Blaster, the two out in front head to head. From the inside, Senior Clarkie, Rafi's man, looks to move up between horses. Fourth, the gray is Cryptozonic in fifth. Bet again is caught wide there from post seven. And too much bourbon has dropped back to last as they go past the half mile pole in 22.40 seconds. They round the far turn, Fire Blasters. Now the overall leader, it's Fire Blaster, who leads by a couple of lengths to in pursuit, Rafi's man. Ignoractive moment, third at the inside at the two and a half. Cryptozonic looking to close from fourth with nearest the inside, Senior Clarky in fifth. Too much bourbon, and the orange cap is wide, and bet again trails the state bread sprint as they straighten. Half mile in 46.45 seconds. It's Fire Blaster charging. Here's too much bourbon, who's rattling home for Aubrey Green. One furlong to go. Between horses, Cryptozonic with Rafi's man, Senior Clarky, is held off of heels. They're close to home. It's too much bourbon. Cryptozonic toward the inside. Too much bourbon. Too much bourbon wins by a length to Cryptozonic. Ruffy's man third, Fire Blaster finished fourth.
and they're off. And there's Holy City who races out from the rail. It's Holy City who just has the early lead for Jareth Lovery, tackled by Cyclone here as they head toward the half mile. With Seeking Sawyer just off the speed in third. Vintage Vinyl ranges up on the far outside while Seeking Home holds the rail as they enter the far turn. Mr. Cunningham toward the inside is some seven from the speed. A break of two more than two. Snitched with B.D. Valeski against the rail as they round the far turn inside. Three furlongs to go. And on the inside, it's Holy City who's battling for this lead coming toward the quarter pole with Cyclone. Cyclone and Holy City together. Vintage Vinyl looks to draw in as Seeking Sawyer strains away in fourth. On the far outside is Mizzen Man, who looks to gain ground from fifth as they come down toward the final furlong and a half. And it is Cyclone who leads on the outside of charging Vintage Vinyl. Dropping back was Holy City, running on between horses, Seeking Sawyer strongly as they come past the 16th. Here's Seeking Sawyer toward the inside Cyclone with Emmanuel Nieves. Seeking Sawyer. Seeking Sawyer scores at 10 to 1 odds. Three quarters length to Cyclone, then Vintage Vinyl, Holy City, Mizzen Man. B.D. Valeski, Mr. Cunningham, up the track, stitched and seeking hope. After seeking Sawyer's made in juvenile win in 105.79. Fast track here at the fairgrounds. And they're off. And a fast start for Come On V right there. There's Southern Swag with Marcelino Pedroza Jr. dashing up from the rail. And Southern Swag has the speed to lead Come On V. Right there is Mr. Priority in between horses as Prizeless starts a move. Fourth on the far outside with inside a half mile to run. All Red is in fifth. Then toward the inside is Hooray Austin, who's looking to gain from sixth. Reckless Ransom is running second to last. And Half Moon Reef trails the state bred sprint as they round the far turn. All in pursuit of Southern Swag, the favorite led. The quarter 22.39 seconds. It's Southern Swag. Priceless end. Mr. Priority just got a reminder there from Adam Biscitza, looking to gain in between horses. Toward the inside is Come On V. Southern Swag first to face the Thursday crowd. It's Southern Swag who leads against the rail. Priceless, Mr. Priority battles gamely. Come on, V drops back, and Hooray Austin is charging hard on the far outside. But Southern Swag has first run for the final 16th from a charging Hooray Austin. And on the outside is Reckless Ransom as they dive at the line. Hooray Austin for Aubrey Green. Hooray Austin has won it in the middle from Reckless Ransom in a photo with Southern Swag. Then Half Moon Reef. And they're off. And there's Mr. Four Sevens who's hustled out toward the lead for Jose Recalme. JC's royalty holds the position toward the inside to vie for this lead with Mr. Four Sevens as they enter the clubhouse turn. So it's JC's royalty was sent to the front by Declan Carroll and takes the top from Swift starting. Mr. Four Sevens who's running in second position at the six and a half with Standing Man between horses. Joined out wide by Mega Man as they go to the back of the track and City Park and the red cap is fifth at the inside. Then it's a break of three more to I'm Indy Catbird seat, payday two, and Power Jet has dropped back to last. 23.99 seconds for the lead part, making this run toward the half mile pole. JC's Royalty leads up the near side for Mr. Four Sevens. City Park has just gained third. With on the outside, Maga Man, and in between horses is Standing Man and Aubrey Green riding for a hat trick of wins on the card in fifth. Payday two is sixth. Then Toward the inside, I'm in the catbird seat, and Power Jet remains last. Half mile 47.54 seconds inside, three furlongs to go. And at the inside, JC's Royalty still disputes it with Mr. Four Sevens, who's forged in front as Mega Man looms on the outside for Marcelino Pedroza Jr. as they come toward the quarter pole. And payday two is unwinding for Adam Biscitza. Payday two coming with a swoop. Three quarters, one minute 13.33 seconds. Payday two takes the top past the eighth pole from Mega Man who tries to fight on to the inside is City Park who's staying on down at the rail as they come past the 16th it's payday two Angel Suarez and City Park pounced on payday two to take it by a half length Mega Man third I'm Indy Catbird seat from Power Man Standing Man Mr. Four Sevens and JC's Welty tailed off And they're off. And there's Shanghai Ronnie who strikes out. 
War Savvy going for an early attack as they head toward the clubhouse turn. Commander Scott Dend, Guilty Lover, holds the rail as they enter the clubhouse turn. And it's War Savvy aggressive early for James Graham. War Savvy race to the front from Shanghai Ronnie, who's running in second at the six and a half with Commander Scott in third upon settling for Relu Gutierrez. Then... We need a five is vying for fourth with the inside guilty lover as they go up the back of the track. Coach Kenny is next from toward the inside. Your time's coming who's running second to last and Bayou Jam trails in eighth position. The opening quarter was 22.42 seconds. War Savvy setting a strong pace. It's War Savvy who leads Shanghai Ronnie by a half dozen lengths to a half mile from home with Commander Scott galloping along in third. Guilty Lovers saving ground from Weenie to five. Coach Kenny, your time's coming and wide. The trailer remains by you jam. The half mile for the front runner, War Savvy in 46. Point thirty one seconds. So three for longs still in front of War Savvy who leads Shanghai Ronnie. And here's Commander Scott who's picking up nicely for Ray Lu. Commander Scott now makes a move between horses to gain the advantage as Shanghai Ronnie looms on the outside but is wide. Dropping back was War Savvy who sped early. They come for home. It's Commander Scott then Shanghai Ronnie for Kobe Hernandez. Three quarters, one minute throughout, 13.12 seconds. Shanghai Ronnie. Commander Scott second at the inside. One for long to go. Shanghai Ronnie holding on to this lead from Commander Scott Gamely with Bayou Jam battling it out for your time's coming for third. They're close to home. It's Shanghai Ronnie. And Shanghai Ronnie wins edging away here from Commander Scott by four and a half lengths. Your time's coming third and Bayou Jam finished fourth. And they're off. For Dawn broke sharp. Eileen Gray from the rail also showing good speed to vie for the front with sharp starting for Dawn. As these two fillies vie for it heading toward the half mile pole. Jillian Elizabeth third just off the speed. Please be kind is wide. Joined toward the inside by the newcomer Ryan's Grace. Who's looking to gain ground as they head toward the far turn. Then Gimme Candy posted wide by friend Amy. And we trail back to Soulstone, who's last here in this maiden juvenile Phillies sprint, where the quarter went past in 22.98 seconds at the two and a half. It's for Dawn, who leads for Marcelino Pedroza Jr. in front of a length and a half to Jillian Elizabeth, who's in pursuit of for Dawn as they come past the quarter pole. It's for Dawn, who leads Jillian Elizabeth now by four. Dropping back at the inside was Eileen Gray charging on the far outside. Here's my friend Amy with a long run. And in between horses, please be kind. It's for Dawn, who's a six-length leader past the 16th from my friend Amy, who's now grabbed second from Jillian Elizabeth, close to home with Marcelino Pedroza Jr., the Nyquist filly. For Dawn gets the result by six lengths. My friend Amy second, Jillian Elizabeth third, then fourth photo, Gimme Candy with Please be kind. We trail back to Eileen Gray with Ryan's Grace and Soulstone. Last of the day, all in. And they're off. Not really, not really was quick to break the line. Payo Princess showing speed on the far outside. Sweet Bay, part of that chasing pack. And there goes Lone Shiloh Special, who rockets to the lead now for Emmanuel Nieves. Lone Shiloh Special sped to the front. Leads here, Super Tricks, who's gained second from Palace Magic, who's racing alongside Super Tricks, going past the half mile. Then toward the inside is Vales and Vows, who's vying for fourth with sharp starting, not really, not really. Special spots is wide, coupled with the front runner, Lone Shallow Special, who leads the three for longs from home. Pio Princess now being driven toward the inside to keep pace. Outside that is uh, Madison Joy as they come toward the quarter pole. We trail back then to uh, Lillian Nan. Wide is Special Bay. Talented Tapper trails here in the Thursday finale. The quarter was 22.45 seconds. These maiden Phillies have straightened for home. As they come down, after a half mile in 46.86 seconds, it's Palace Magic. Palace Magic and Lone Shiloh Special is in for the fight. One for long to go. Palace Magic, Lone Shiloh Special, has dug her heels in. And bearing down is Payo Princess. They're close to home. Lone Shiloh Special, Lone Shiloh Special on the wire. Lone Shiloh Special has won it. Repel Palace Magic in a photo with Payo Princess. And near a stand side, Sweet Bay finished for. Fourth. 